Hi everyone, today I'll be going over one of the features in Camtasia called grouping. Grouping is when you combine two or more items on your timeline together into a single group. You must have more than one. I can't create a group with just one. Group isn't even an option there. But if I try to create a group with two items, I'm able to, to group them together. Go ahead and ungroup those. I can group two that are on the same track. I can group uh, some that are on different tracks, as you saw earlier with these two. Or I can group two that are very far apart from each other, like these two. And create a group with those two and put them together. You can really group in any direction, and that's, that's extremely useful and one of the, the fun features in Camtasia. Now there's lots of reasons for grouping objects together. One of them is to allow you to distinguish topics or describe videos. For example, here's a soundtrack, but maybe I don't want that to be called Pandora. I can't rename that in Camtasia. However, I could combine it with this video, group it, and then name both of these items Introduction. No, let's call it something else. Grass and Music is what we'll name that one. Another thing I can use it for is to distinguish topics. If this segment is finished being edited and I wanted to group it together, I could call it the, the introduction. And this segment could be uh, the first session. And then this third segment could be called second session. So as you can see, there's lots of different uses for groups. I'll go ahead and ungroup each of these items now and kind of put them back how they were. Another use for grouping is to allow animations to happen over a, a period of time or apply animations to several objects. For example, if I would like this gentleman to come in from the left, and I would also like this video to come in from the left, I could animate each of them separately, or I can group them and then apply an animation, coming to my visual properties and selecting add animation. I'll edit this starting point here. I can bring all of them in on this side. We'll need to move that animation forward so that it does touch the man entering. And now they'll both come together. I'll go ahead and undo that and zoom back out. Move this piece back down. Another very useful thing to do with groups is to help sync the audio. In this case, this audio was not recorded at the same time as this video. So once I've lined it up to where it needs to be and, and synced that audio, to make sure that I don't accidentally separate that again, I can group those items and now that audio is combined with the video. And uh, if I move one or the other, if I move the group, they both move together at the same exact spot. Now, when you download a template from eLearning Brothers, from the eLearning Brothers library, and import it into your library, like I have with this Blue Mountain theme, and you want to use those items, the libzip files here are actually in groups already. So if I want the title from Blue Mountain, I can put it here. Place it on my timeline. I'll change my workspace to be 1080 so that it matches the template. You can see here that it's in the group. If I open up the group, I can see all of the pieces in here. If I want to work with them, I now have two choices. I can either work with the group with it in the group. So I'll just click that plus button and the group will open here. 
and you can see each of the, the separate pieces and then you click the minus button and it goes away. This can be really handy. Let's say I have another video, the, another item that I'm going to put on top of that. When I open the group, it doesn't push the item away. Rather, it just slides up on top of it and there it is when you close it. However, if I were to ungroup these, it pushed the video all the way up to track seven so that the entire group could fit. And now if I regroup it, there's a big gap here which may be annoying if you're dealing with larger projects. So you have to make a choice. Do you want to work uh, inside the group window or do you want to ungroup it and uh, then you can regroup it or leave it open, whatever your preference is. Personally, I do like to ungroup uh, my template packages just because I think they're a little bit easier to work with and a little bit easier to customize. And that is a basic tutorial of groups. Thanks. Have a good day.